everybody. This is another quick results workout. What Nick did today was he put together a special circuit of things that you can do outside um, in a park or wherever you are. Very uh, basic exercises but very effective as well and it's uh, a great circuit to do especially if you're trying to lose weight, build strength, tone up. We'll show you one round of the workout and then you can just repeat it, hit the repeat button um, and do three sets of it. Hey guys, this is Steph. And this is Nick. And we had a little win during our uh, workout session, so we're going to walk you through this um, by talking. Okay, so the first exercise of the circuit, we're going to be doing a uh, lunge, a static lunge. So you want one foot behind you curled up and uh, your front foot flat in front of you. And you're basically going to use your legs to raise up, extend up through your legs. And just make sure that your knee is aligned with your heel. Alright, so you want to do about 10 reps for this round. And again, the circuit will be three sets, so you do 10 reps each set that you do. You want to extend up and down. And once you've done your 10 reps, you're going to switch to the other side. Now the great thing about these is you're not only working your leg, you're also working uh, your hip flexors. So you're, you're getting a nice stretch in your hip flexors. So that's just in the front of the thigh. So most people have really tight hip flexors. So this will be a double whammy here. You're getting two benefits in one exercise. So just continue going, keep going at it. Don't give up, it's probably gonna burn a little bit, that's normal. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the squat. So you wanna make sure your feet are hip width apart and you wanna sit back with your hips, okay? So you make sure that your knees aren't shooting over your toes because um, that can lead to knee problems. You want a nice natural arc in your low back and just make sure you're looking about diagonal in front of you and you can either put your hands across your body or uh, in front of you behind your head whatever is more comfortable for you and uh, we're doing 10 reps of this so here you just want to add a jump to it that's what makes it a jump squat so you want to extend up with your legs and land right back down to the floor but nice and gently you want to control the landing all right so 10 reps and that'll be for each set of the circuit Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is called the walking planks and uh, we'll be doing this for 30 seconds at a time. This exercise is one of my very favorites. You've seen me do it in other videos that I have and I'm so glad Nick picked this as one of them because if you were to do one ab exercise, this would be the one. It really works your obliques, your whole core, but um, the obliques really make a difference. So focus on this for sure. Yeah, and then you'll definitely be working your upper body as well. And um, if this exercise is too difficult for you, Steph, uh, what can you do to modify it? You can actually uh, lower down onto your knees, which we'll give you a little example of um, coming up. And that just makes it a little easier um, to begin with. And then you can start working up to that. So right here, you're lowering down to your knees and you'll just do the same motion as that. Yeah, and you wanna make sure your core is engaged and uh, what that means is you're just bringing your navel into your spine and that just helps keep everything stable in the midsection. And also make sure your um, hands are aligned right underneath your shoulders to avoid any kind of impingements in the shoulders or anything like that. 
So right here we're going really hard for 30 seconds. You want to just have the best form that you can and be moving it as quickly as you can. Yeah, because uh, this is a tough workout. <laughs> it really is. By the third set, you're really going to feel it. Okay, so after the 30 seconds, um, I'm just going to go into a yoga pose called Downward Dog. Now you just want to push out of the ground and uh, push your heels into the ground. So you want to lengthen the spine, nice flat back. Um, it's a really good stretch and a nice rest after those 30 seconds. And after the downward dog, we're going to come into an upward dog. Just a, it's a good balance, uh, good balancing pose to the downward dog. Now, this is a great way too to stretch after those hard workouts. You will definitely look forward to this. Yes, and just make sure that you're not um, dropping in the shoulders. Make sure you push out, keep those shoulders locked. And uh, after that, we're going to do one more set of 30 seconds of the walking planks. Um, as you're doing these, um, you just want to remember your form again. So, Nick, do you want to give them another like run through on how the proper form for this? Yeah, just make sure the hips aren't moving around too much. If it's really hard for you, you can let them sway back a little bit. And again, just making sure the core is engaged, navel into the spine. Um, just keep that area nice and tight. Now the moment you've been waiting for, another rest into the downward dog. Yes, these are the best after that ab work. Whew. Okay, so the next part of the circuit are uh, pull-ups on the ring. So this is a bonus part of the video, um, bonus exercise. Not everyone can get their hands on rings, but if you do have a pair, these are a great way to do pull-ups. Um, we'll also show you too at the another part of this video an alternative that you can do if you're at a park. Yeah, and with these, you just want to make sure your, your chest is open and you can fold your ankles on top of each other to pull yourself up. Uh, we're going to do 10 reps here. Well, I'll do 10 reps and Steph's going to do uh, around 5. And Nick, what areas of your body does this work? So this is working your, your upper back muscles and also your, your lats. Your lats are also a part of your back and uh, it'll be working out your biceps a little bit as well. So the last part of the circuit is going to be a sprint or, or suicides they're called. Now uh, this is a great exercise for people who are looking to lose weight, um, very effective and also has a lot of benefits. Uh, Steph, can you mention one oh, of those? Heck yeah I can. It's a huge metabolism booster. This is a HIT exercise, high intensity interval training. So yeah, as your metabolism goes higher, then you burn more fat, which is exactly what we're looking for um, as we're working out the muscles and building them at the same time. So burn fat, build muscle. Oh yeah, and what we're doing here is we're just setting some markers up. So if you have uh, water bottles or you can find some rocks, you just set up about four spots. 
the first two spots are going to be closer to each other than the last two and uh, basically you're going to sprint to one marker and then sprint back to the first one then sprint to the next marker back all the way to the first one and then again all the way to the last marker back to the start so you see me demonstrating that here okay and for this sprint you're going to do it twice so the whole um, sequence that I explained you're gonna do that twice and that will count as one set and you'll do that for three sets as a complete circuit you're gonna be so blown away by how winded you get after this and that just shows you how good it works and one. If you did three sets and you don't look like this, then you, you won't push right. yourself as hard as you could have. Last set or last rep that you do, always do the hardest out of any of them. You always have that extra last burst of energy. <laughs> Being here, we've had a lot of discussions about how you can be doing intense, great workouts and eating very healthy food but still not be able to lose weight or reach your health goals or whatever it yeah. may be. And if, you, uh, if you're, like she was saying, you could be eating the best diet, you can be working out every day, but if you are dealing with certain emotions that you're stuffing down or you have certain thoughts that are not so great, um, you know, towards who you want to be, it can definitely manifest into your body and not uh, stop you from getting the results that you want. are just starting out working out and you don't have a lot of arm strength the best way to do that is just to start by what Nick did in the beginning just like hanging getting to feel for it feel how your body feels doing that pull up just a little bit if you can do that and then